Father Salk, how can children be saints? You're asking me how children can be saints because you want to be a saint, right? Yes. You want to be a saint, Yes. Yes. You want to be a saint? Yes. If you want to be saints, you have to imitate Jesus. You want to imitate Jesus? Yes. If you want to imitate Jesus, you imitate Jesus at home and you imitate Jesus in school. How can you imitate Jesus at home? I will first ask you to spell. You know how to spell? <laughs> you spell sports. All, both of you, spell sports. S-P-O-R-T-S. Sports. Sports. The first letter of sports is? S. S. If you want to be a saint, you must learn silence. Silence is the language of God. What is the language of God? Silence. Silence. God speaks Italian. God speaks Filipino. God speaks English. God speaks all the languages of the world. But the favorite language of God is silence. You don't have to know Latin to be able to speak to God. If you know how to keep quiet, you will be able to hear God and you will be able to talk to God. Do you want to talk to God? Yes. You want to listen to God? Yes. Silence. But silence is not just about closing your mouth and not talking. Silence is about opening your ears and opening your heart so that you can really listen. Some people are not talking, but their minds are very noisy. Some people are not talking, but they're doing so many things. When I tell you to be silent, I am telling you, to focus on God, to think about God, and then to listen to God with your loving, silent, quiet heart. What is the language of God? Silence. The next letter in sports is P. P is for purity. What is S? Silence. P is for purity. The Lord said, Blessed are the pure of heart, you will be able to see God. You want to see God? Keep your heart pure. Do you take a bath every day? Yes. Why? Because you want to be clean, you want to be protected from germs. If you take a bath every day, you should also bathe your soul every day. Because the body gets dirty every day, and the soul gets dirty every day also. And what is the bath? For the soul, the bath for the soul is to say, Lord, have mercy. If you say, Lord, have mercy, you're actually saying to God, Lord, please cleanse my heart. If you know you have not been a good boy or a good girl to your parents or a good brother to Mariesha, you have to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry makes you clean. I'm sorry makes your heart clean you are again. And if you have committed a serious sin, you have to go to the Lord through the priest and be able to say to the priest, Father, these are my sins. Bless me for I have sinned. So purity is the key to be able to see God. So the next letter is O. o. What is S? Silence. E. Purity. O is open. What is the opposite of open? Closed. Closed. Do you want to be closed or open? Open. Because an open mind will learn many things. An open heart will love many people, will love everybody. And the Lord wants us to be open, not just to receive from Him, but to be open so that we can also share. You know, so many people want to get rich. It's all right to dream to get rich. But if you want to get rich, the key is you must be giving persons. Because people who do not give die early. They are still breathing, but they have lost the meaning of living because the meaning of living is in giving. As you're listening to me, are you breathing? Yes. yes. And when you breathe air, you, so, you should also breathe out. Because if you just keep the air given to you and you don't breathe it out, you will suffocate, you will die. 
So it is the same with the blessings of God. You are open, you breathe in the grace of God. But you're open, you also breathe out the grace of God and share it. This is closed and this is violent. Have you seen Jesus with hands like this? No. Have you seen Jesus with hands, with hands like this? No. Jesus has open hands like that. In fact, because his hands were open, those hands were nailed to the cross. Those are loving hands. You cannot be a saint if you are close-minded. If you, you cannot be a saint if you are close-fisted. You cannot be a saint if you are close-hearted. B O N. What is S? Silence. E. Purity. O. Open. The next letter is R. R. R is for response. Response is answer. Response is you are asked a question and you give a reply. Response. Jesus tells you, tell the truth all the time. Yes or no? Yes. Jesus tells you, obey your parents all the time. Yes or no? Yes. Jesus tells you, you pray every day. Yes or no? Yes. Jesus tells you, be a saint. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Because everything that Jesus wants for you is the best for you. So R is for response, meaning to say you don't have to wait until you're as old as your parents to be holy. There is possibility of you becoming saints even if you are children and young. Do not wait until you have a college degree, until you are established in your career in order to say, I am going to be holy. Because you received the call to be holy, to be a saint, when? When you were baptized. When you were baptized and the priest poured water on you and said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, that was the day when Jesus told you, I want you to be like me. And if you become like Jesus, you're going to be called a saint, a holy child, a holy girl, a holy boy. You want to be holy together? Yes. So S is for? Silence. Silence. P is for? Purity. O. Open. R. Response. T is for truth. What is the opposite of truth? False. No. Or lie. <laughs> lie. Lie. It's not truth or false. <laughs> <laughs> what is the opposite of truth? Lie. lie. What is the opposite of false? True. True. Okay. Truth, because the truth sets us free. And truth with a capital T is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. Liars go to hell. hell. So, you cannot go to heaven, you cannot be a saint if you're a liar. But some people say they tell white lies. A white lie is still a lie. You can call it blue, you can call it red, but it's still a lie. So don't excuse yourself by also saying it's a half-truth. Because if it is half-truth, the other half is also lie. So tell the truth all the time. Sometimes the truth can hurt. Sometimes you might be losing some friends because you told the truth. But tell the truth all the time and tell the truth with love. Because when you tell the truth with love, it becomes an imitation of Jesus Christ. So tell the truth all the time to your parents, to your friends, to your brothers and sisters. Tell the truth all the time because saints don't lie. Always tell the truth. Okay? So the last letter in sports is? S. S is sacrifice. Sacrifice. What is the first letter S? Silence. The last letter S? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is difficult because we want things easy. We want things fast. Sacrifice is difficult because it calls for embracing pain, embracing difficulty. But mayesha and shainito, remember, if you look for an easy life, it will also become a meaningless life. Because the meaning of life 
is in the cross of Jesus Christ, and that is the highest sacrifice. Someday you will fall in love with a boy, or someday you will fall in love with another girl. Someday you will fall in love with many people. But keep in mind that love is not just a romantic feeling. Love is not just feel good. The essence of love is in sacrifice. And Jesus said, there is no greater love than to die for your beloved. So let's spell sports again. Let's see. Spell sports. S-P-O-R-T-S. S is for? Silence. Silence. S. P? Purity. Purity. O? Open. Open. R? Response. And the T, truth. truth, and then the last letter S, sacrifice. sacrifice. If you put sports together, you're going to be a holy daughter, a holy son at home. You, you're going to be like Jesus at home. And at home, you, you imitate Jesus, and at home, you will give Jesus to everybody. Because the best school is not Edna's school. Because the best school is your family. And the best teacher is not in school. The best teacher is your mom. The best teacher is your dad. They teach you together and they're the best teachers. They teach best by example because they teach best because they love you. But you also go to school. And when you go to school, you are also called to be saints because your children in the family, but in the school, you have parents also. Your teachers are your parents in the school. You want to be a good pupil? Yes. If you want to be a good pupil, the standard is not other people. Don't compete with the valedictorian don't compete with those who have the first honors. Compete with yourself. Today, Mayesha should be better today than yesterday. And next week, you must be better next week than today. So you must keep on getting better. If you want to be a saint in the school, you have to drink. Do you drink water? How many glasses a day? Less than eight. Less than eight. One? Maybe More. three. Maybe three, maybe four. Drink water, but this time I will ask you to drink from five wells. The first well that you must drink from is study well. In school, study well. Believe me, if you study well, you can become holy. Studying can make you a saint. You are not asked to work now. You are students, you are pupils. And if you study very well, you read your books with much love, with uh, faith in God, and with generosity to share it with others, studying can make you holy. Studying can make you a saint. Study well. The second well is pray well. What is the second well? Pray well. Pray well, meaning to say, you have to listen to God. You pray at home. And we say the family that prays together stays together. So at, in school, you must also pray. And uh, prayer in school is when you pray with your classmates. Prayer in school is when you pray with your teachers. When you attend Mass, when you receive communion. Pray. Pray well. When it is time to pray, don't study. Listen to God, and listen to God by talking to God. And talking to God and listening to God, using His language, and the language of God is? Uh, no. No, I taught you. Begins with letter S. Silence. Silence. Silence is the language of God. You are also silent at home. You have to be silent in school also to be able to listen and talk to God. So, study well, pray well. The third well, I think you will like this. Eat well. I say eat well, not eat much. 
Eat well meaning to say you eat a balanced diet. You know the three types of food? Go, Go grow, grow, and, and glow. glow. You eat vegetables, you eat meat, you also eat carbs yes. because they give you energy, they help you to build your muscles and so on. So, when I ask you to eat well, you eat well because you take care of your body. Because your body is not yours. Your body does not belong to your parents. Your body came from God. Your body belongs to God. And we are only caretakers of this body. So when you eat, you are taking care of your body so that your body will not get sick. So that your body will stay healthy. So that your body can be used to serve other people. You don't eat to please yourself. You eat in order to nourish your body so that your body will be healthy for service to other people. So study well, pray well, eat well, and then the fourth well is play well. Play well. Your children, you run. You know football? You know swimming? Yes. yes. Uh, what other sports do you engage in? Basketball, volleyball, volleyball play. But remember this, when you play, don't play to win. Play to enjoy the game. Because if you play to win, it's going to be tiring. There will be a game when you will lose. So if you lose, don't cry. If you win, don't boast. If you win, if you lose, that is not important. The important thing is you gave your best into the game. No matter what people say, no matter what the scoreboard says, you are always a winner when you give your best into the game. It is not prohibited to, to jump, to shout, to shriek, to enjoy the game. It is not prohibited. In fact, Jesus is happy when you're happy. Enjoy a good game. Give your best all the time. But remember, play with Jesus. You can jump, you can shout, but don't sin. Don't cheat in the game. It's not worth it. Just give your best. Win or lose, you're always the winner because you gave your best. And that is life. You cannot always win in life. There will be rainy days, there will be shiny days. But the important thing is, give your best all the time. So study well, pray well, eat well, play well, and then the fifth one is sleep well. Sleep well. Mayasha, sleep well in the bedroom at home. Do not sleep in the class. Yes. Sleep well because when you sleep, you grow your bones. Sleep well because when you sleep, your brain is rested and tomorrow you're going to be a better person, a happier person because you're well rested. You know, Mayasha and Shailito, some people are not able to sleep. So sleep is a gift from the Lord. If you are able to sleep and you wake up, you say, thank you, Lord, for a good sleep. And if you cannot sleep, ask the Lord to give you rest because true rest is a gift from the Lord. It is not just about pills. It is not just about uh, worrying or not worrying. Every sleep is a blessing from the Lord. And who knows? we might not be able to wake up anymore. So when you wake up, you should be able to say to the Lord, Lord, thank you. I had a good rest, it is from you, and now I am awake, I am ready for a new day. When I was a little boy like Shainito, I used to pray like this. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. And Till I wake to the morning light. Amen. Pray like that. Appreciate sleep because sleep is a blessing from the Lord. 
We are called to be saints at home. We are called to be saints in school. We are called to be saints riding in the car. We are called to be saints playing football. We are called to be saints 24-7. Let's review the five wells. The first well is? Study well. Study well. And then pray well. Pray well. Eat well. Eat well. Eat well. Play well. Play well. And, sleep, and well. sleep well. So when you put together the five wells, it spells holiness. In school, you do the five wells. At home, you do sports. And when you put sports and the five wells together, you will be able to pursue the dream of Mayesha. She says, how can children be saints? Shainito, you want to be a saint also? You know, Shainito, saints are like stars in heaven. Saints are friends of God. And God wants you to be a holy boy, to be a holy teenager, to be a holy adult. I will still pray. What do you want to be when you grow up? A businessman and a soccer player. But I will also ask God if God wants you to call you to be a priest and maybe to call you to be a bishop. And Mayesha, God calls you to be a saint with your brother. God calls you to be a saint together. So keep in mind, Jesus loves you. And because Jesus loves you, you want to love Jesus back. And you want Jesus to stay in your heart to live in your life, and you want to give your very best to Jesus. I think, Shainito, you're going to make a good Archbishop of Linga in the group. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you want to be a bishop? Uh, not sure. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever God wills. You know, if, you, if God wants you to be a saint, you're going to be a saint. If you like to be a bishop and God does not like you to be a bishop, you will not be a bishop. Even if you want to be the most popular football player, but God does not like it, you will not be able to achieve it. Everything happens because everything, everything happens as part of God's plan. But I don't know what the future holds in store for you. Whether you'll be a good athlete, you'll be a good doctor or interior designer or uh, a businessman, I don't know. I only know one thing. God wants Mayesha to be holy and God wants Shainito to be holy. So, let us pray so that Mayesha, Shainito, and Father Sok, we will be saints together. God bless you.